And police confirmed both the dog and the car it was driving arrived safely at their destination. Next up, we have... Who do we have, Rod? You. Oh, me. <laughs> me. As a news anchor for Channel 7, Chris Barth has seen and reported on every aspect of human behaviour. She's covered stories showing the highs and lows people can experience. And if she's learned one thing and one message she'd like to pass on, it's that when the unexpected comes along, sometimes it pays to go with it. It's no good getting advice from somebody not willing to put their money where their mouth is. I've been standing here telling you to go for it, grab life, give it a good shake. I suppose you're thinking that's easy for her to say, but what's the good of it if I don't back it up? And she does exactly that with a blistering air guitar solo, the ace up her sleeve when she's trying to get a point across. It was, in fact, her big finish, her big surprise treat for the audience, until... I guess part of the reason why I said yes to dancing was step to the future because I've spent all this time blathering to kids about taking risks that if I didn't take one myself and it I think was a considerable risk to do the show given you know the need for credibility as a newsreader um, you know I guess I would have been a complete hypocrite if I hadn't said yes to it and I thought well if I'm telling kids they need to take risks then I can hardly not take my own advice. As a journalist, reporter and presenter with nearly two decades experience, Chris knows only too well that credibility is everything in the news business, especially for presenters, and that Dancing with the Stars was one of the twists and turns of life she often referred to. I know in my life I've taken a lot of different paths to get to where I am now and my message to kids is that you know don't think that the one decision that you make whether it's you know what what degree you're going to do when you finish school or what career path you're going to take is is locked in and there forever because there's this I remember being 17 and thinking that you know I decided to do this so I couldn't change my mind and it's never too late to change your mind and the other big message that I like to get across too is don't be afraid of failure because it's what gives success value and every time you fail you you learn more and more lessons that help you succeed. Chris has special empathy with students who aren't sure what they want to do when they finish school. She was one of them too. Most importantly, she wants them to know that it's okay to change your mind, that at 18 you don't have to lock yourself into a career path. One of the things that I say to kids is don't be afraid of failure because it's what gives success value. And every time you fail and you make a mistake, you learn from it and it lets you go further with whatever you think success is. And the other big message is don't be afraid to change your mind because I remember being at school and thinking, I'm locked into this career path, I can't change my mind. But it is okay to change your mind. There's a lot of pressure not to for some kids, but it's fine to change your mind. You know, if I didn't change my mind, I'd still be at Kmart. Everybody else had a pathological hatred of the microphone at the service desk. I loved it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at Kmart Marylands today, we have a red light special on men's underwear. <laughs> Appropriate, perhaps, that we've dragged out the red light for it. Get on down to aisle 12 and get some Dax for your man. Our red light will only be on for five minutes, just like him, then the light goes off and back to sleep. I know when I was at school, there was a lot of pressure on people to know what they were going to do and who they were going to be and how they were going to grow up. And some kids did, and you know, full marks to them, that's great. But there are other kids like me who really had no idea what they wanted to do. And I think it's crazy that there's that much pressure put on you at school. So I'm going to be telling certainly my son, Darcy, that Take your time, you know, figure out you want to, what you want to do in your own time and don't be pressured into making decisions that you might regret. Chris's family are a big part of her inspiration. Well, they were until Darcy stole the show at his first step forum. Do you want to come up here? Come on. Come here. This is my little boy. This is the first time he's seen this. He hasn't come. Mummy's disappeared and done this weird stuff and walked around the house doing air guitar. <laughs> so, 
knowing Darcy is going to one day be in the step audience is part of the reason why Chris is passionate about the forums. She believes the wide range of speakers and their experiences can offer something to just about anybody. I guess the beauty of STEP is that you might not implement everything that you hear from every speaker. You take from it what you need and, and ditch the rest. And the other good thing is if there's nothing that strikes a chord and you think it's all a bunch of rot, then at least it's entertaining. With dancing now part of her repertoire, and Chris more convinced than ever that embracing change is a worthwhile message to get across, Chris is already planning a revamped STEP routine. For me, in a lot of ways, I guess dancing changed everything, including my step routine. So I'm going to have to come up with a new one. I guess that's proof that, you know, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah.